every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity but I just slide right by that energy Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Some batter in your brain uh, That's why to say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts saying Turn them to a game Take the best thoughts saying Put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh, Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start a pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explore Everything that you thought You could never do before uh, And even when you feel low Slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no, man, I still go Go, go Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts, man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose, I hope it's worth it This society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning all our minds have put the work in, we got some work, man I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Gotta get through this, life is a nuisance, tie up some sense. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway I know it's easier to hide and just to lay low Not everyone in life has got a halo I'm standing in the red inside a payphone Just wanna break, no I'm not gonna give in 
Take a last shot, Michael J. Win. No, I'm not a robot. I'm in my own skin. Never get lost when thoughts pull you in. I miss the old you. We died with a purpose. All the energy around me felt nervous. Scared I would pop off fast with the surface. Had to cut it off before you made me worthless. Torn apart, I've been torn as I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart. I'm keeping up my guard. I'm hiding every card. I wrote a flush of love. You never know what's hard. With a back to the Mac and I see where I'm at. I'm a fight like I'm at. I'm a piece of the net. They can never be me. Nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite, they feeling I could tear you apart or I could go heal them Don't believe in faith, don't believe in ceilings I just need a taste till my mind starts peeling I don't pace myself, I grind on kneeling Got lust for change, I just love the feeling uh. I ain't gonna give up Got too little time, I'ma live up Head down, push forward through the tough times Cause anything worth doing is a tough climb
guys, guys, guys. Be on the lookout. We're being invaded by Issa Channel, guys. Everybody take their positions. And get ready. We love having guests here. Welcome to Issa's family. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the first ever Rampage Watch Along. Let's go! We gotta get to it. We gotta get to it. The show is starting. Woo! Welcome! Welcome! Welcome, welcome to the first ever live Rampage Watch Along. My name is Jesse, a.k.a. your very own one and only Shot Town Smart, what's going on, everybody? Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. As you all know, if you don't know, I sincerely do appreciate all of you being here, hanging out on the debut episode of Rampage Live. Watch along. Nothing exciting going on right now, guys. Just a boring nothing match that nobody cares about. Only Ray Phoenix and Andrade El Idolo. What? What? Man. Who can think of a better way to start this show off, man? I can't. I cannot. Look at this. We get hook. Hook scheduled tonight. Unfortunately, I thought this may be. So I thought this may be a live episode. I thought maybe we would get our first Rampage watch along to be a live one. Unfortunately, it's not, but it's all good. Don't fret. Don't worry. We're still on, man. We still get Rampage. We are expanding, you guys. We are expanding. We are expanding thanks to fantastic supporters like the head of talent relations. She's not being replaced. She is definitely a better head of talent relations than Bruce. I don't know about Christopher Daniels. He's a pretty fucking awesome head of talent relations but I would still take my girl Susan D. Ambrosio with the first super chat of the night congratulations on the growth of your channel Jesse plus happy birthday to me Susan guys my head of talent relations is celebrating a birthday today I need birthday cake emojis from everyone in this chat right now if you have a keyboard in front of you if you have a device in front of you this string stops until you give Susan birthday cake emoji Guys, it's the very least you can do. The very least you can do is give Susan a birthday cake emoji because if she wants an abortion, she can't have one. Guys, thank you so much for being here tonight. I'm in a good mood, man, despite this country going to shit. I said it, man. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry if, if, if you hear it and offends you I am I am sincerely sorry that it does But I'm sorry this country is reverting I think this is the start And, and one of my fears is that The further along it gets The more it starts to invade Racial issues And other issues that directly in, in, Impacts me and my family But hey man Hey we digress because we are here to watch Phoenix get pushed off the top goddamn rope onto the ground. What the hell is going on in this ring, man? Andrade just shoved Ray Phoenix off the top rope onto the ground, told Aubrey Ebers to start counting because he wants to win via count up. What a heel. What a heel. What a heel. Susan, thank you so much for the $5 super duper chat. You are awesome. You are awesome. Oh man, I just I just don't get it, man. I just don't get it, man. Eric Douglas, can I please tell you my side of this topic? By all means. I, by all means, but I promise you it's not going to end well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, Guardian, this, this is what I, this is what I don't understand, though. My head of security guarding the chaos. The last time I checked, Last time I checked, and this is and this is just an overall broad stroke of everything, not not just today's topic, everything. Last time I checked, we were the United States, United States of America, not the fifty individual states of America, not the red and the blue states of America. Last time I checked. We were supposed to be one united front. No. Now we're separate. Now we make up, you know, now we're 50 different countries. Is that it? And I know it's not just for this one thing. It applies to, you know, half the fucking laws that we have in this country right now. So that's why I say this is like an overall broad stroke. I mean, we have one government. Why don't we have just one set of laws to go by? Why do I have to move to a different state to get different rights in the same country? If I live in Illinois, I get different rights than someone who lives in Texas. How is that? Why is that? Is this not one country or no? You know? Right or wrong. Right or wrong. Whether whatever your opinion is, you know, jumping off today's topic, whatever your opinion is. Shouldn't we be under one goddamn rule, one government of the nation, of the country? I mean, it's messed up that I have certain rights. I can get certain things done in my state that another person can't get in their state, and we're both American citizens. I have to move geographically to get to to get uh to get rights that are granted to other Americans. How does that make any sense? How does that make any sense? If we break that down locally in my in my town, what if I had to abide by certain rules, but the dude that lives across the street from me gets different rules because he geographically lives across the street? How does that make any sense? I thought we were both U.S. citizens. You know, and that's and that's and that's not putting my thoughts on any topic at all. I mean, that's not even getting into what I think is right or wrong. That's just common sense. I thought we were one damn country. So I don't know. What is? Let's get back into this awesomeness, man. Let's get back into this awesomeness of a match. Dude, Andrade versus Ray Phoenix is the match that I didn't know I needed in my life. But now that I know it exists, 
I need it in my life. I need it. I need it. Issa says, imagine being against abortion in a country that doesn't offer free health care or paid maternity leave. Tough shit, Issa. Tough shit. Because some silver-haired fucking old retired dude living in the upper class has decided that he wants to be able to dictate what you do with your body. All right? Get over it. Makes sense. Oh, God. Please don't kill Phoenix again. Oh, God. No, you started grabbing his damn knee. Jesus Christ, dude. Please don't hurt Phoenix again. Please. And I am playing games. I create my own lane, making pleasure out of pain. Uh, turning losses into gains. I'm the boss. I'm making change. I've been rocking this exchange. Oh, Andrade going for his, going for his, uh, oh, knee strike to the corner. Ray Phoenix move. Andrade need the damn ring post. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see. We'll take him, uh, where are we at? Now we look good. There we go. We look good. We look good. Lay go, brick collector. Hey, man, this playlist is provided by YouTube, brother. And thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I'm seeing and recognizing all of the new names. Thank you guys so much. We are on commercial break right about now. Thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. Once again, my name is Jesse, a.k.a. your very own Still Not Scared of Thunder Rosa, Shot town Smart. If you have not done so already, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. If you are unaware here on this channel, if you feel so inclined and so generous, please feel free to super chat and help support the channel. Because if you do... As most of you may well know, we have an ongoing contest for the month of June. Guys, the top supporter of the channel collectively at the end of the month will become the mod of the month. Yes, if you want to be a mom, if you want to be a mom, help out, donate, super chat. It will be appreciated and you could be mom on the channel michael partham with a 199 super chat if isa's followers are demonites what are yours my followers are pretty much assholes michael i'm sorry why because i'm an asshole i'm an asshole game recognized game man i am i'm telling you we are all pricks here man and that's why i love all of you man i don't want some fucking goody goody two shoes hanging out with me man you gotta have some kind of personality be some sort of an asshole just don't be too much of an asshole that's all i ask thank you Mike, michael partham um here and here at here at the channel man if you join you can be an exclusive member of the taco crew that's what you are if you join us guys you are part of the taco crew what do you get if you're in the taco crew guys you get exclusive rights to one of the best emojis in all of youtube all of youtube taco club show them what it's like to be a taco club member show them the exclusive exclusive emoji that you guys are privy to guys this is what we do here if you see something in the ring anything in the ring that seems to be of scrumptious of scrumptious and voluptuous and beautiful to you you can justify with a booty beat emoji and there it goes you get to express yourself in the form of a booty meat emoji also you can express your love for the dark order because we specialize in watching dark so we are a part of the dark order join us We also have an exclusive rating system here. Taco system, one through five. 
as we watch uh, as we watch matches on dark mondays and tuesdays we give the wrestlers who are not normally featured on television and are trying to make their way to television and what do we do we grade them you get graded with a taco from one through five one taco means you're trash five tacos mean hey man we gotta bring you up on the wednesday night show with jd to a larger audience and express how this person needs to be brought to television courtesy of our exclusive taco crew voting system guys thank you for being here we are back live on the show and we just got a goddamn spanish fly from the top rope what the hell is going on jeez man guys we are 15 minutes in and andrade and ray phoenix are tearing the damn house down Oh, Ryan, I got you. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's not Ryan. Uh, so that was Lego Brick Collect. Do I know who this artist is playing? I can find out, brother. I can find out. I can find out. It's let's see. It's only worth it if you work for it. It's the name of the track. All right. It's only worth it if you work for it. Name of the group. There you go. In the chat. That's the name of, I don't know why that first N is lowercase. Uh oh, Andrade went for the low blow, but it was blocked. Andrade went for the eye poke. Got it. Oh, send Phoenix to the rope. Phoenix came back. Andrade capitalized by popping him in the kneecap. Uh oh. I see a woo. I see a woo. Why is Andrade saying woo? Why is Andrade saying woo? I don't get it. I don't get it. Guys. Guys, guys. Does anyone know why Andrade would be saying woo? I don't know. Oh, wait, was the hell was that? That's supposed to be an interference. Oh, what the? Oh, shit. And the Alex got pissed off. Is that Roosh? We get Roosh. We got Roosh. And he, oh, geez, he just kicked the holy hell out of fucking Phoenix's balls. Guys, 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 Roosh just gave Phoenix his own form of birth control. That's got to be illegal, right? I think it's a federal crime at this point. That'd be a federal crime. Fucking Roosh, man, he went, he went all in on that one, dude. He let him have it. What's his shirt say? I can't see it. That the name of his new crew? That's awesome, man. That is awesome. That is awesome. Roosh better watch it, man. What he just did was legit illegal. Oh, here come Penta an hour and a half later. Where in the hell were you, man? Was he in the back in catering? the fuck was he doing please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah please tell me all the bad never good fill my head full of every what a night what a night we got eddie kingston cutting a promo what a night guys if you're new here again thank you for coming if you're wondering why you don't hear more volume of the show itself it's because 
YouTube. Because YouTube, man. So sorry. So sorry. Copyright strikes, all that stuff. You got to be careful. Eddie wants to taste blood. He wants to see how a coward's blood tastes. Eddie is a sick fuck, dude. Sick fuck. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people would, would wholeheartedly agree. But I'm pretty sure if he's not the best, he's close. I'm pretty sure Eddie Kingston cuts the absolute best promo in all of professional wrestling right now on the planet Earth. Earth. If he's not, he's close. He's close. Draft Kings promo. Guys, thank you for being here. So much. Issa says him and Mox. I, I agree. Like I said, I, I I think Eddie is probably the best on the planet. It's 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 debatable. There are some names that can be thrown out there to make it you know a good a good and intelligent pro wrestling debate. Moxley is definitely one of those names you could throw in there and say, you know, hey, I think it's Moxley. And then I would say, hey, you know, I think it's Eddie. And we would have a, a fantastic debate about it. But if I say the best promo is Eddie Kingston, and you tell me the best promo is Ronda Rousey. No. Mm, not so much. Probably not. Uh -uh. No. Punk? Sure. Could be punk. I could agree with that. Um That's awesome. Hey, Cat Eyes is in the chat. Guys, is, is my wife in the chat? MJF is a debatable name. Where is she? Is she in the chat? She is. She is in the chat. Good. Can someone tell her to come into the house and do something about this dog? He's barking in the other room. Would you come get your dumb dog? Look, she probably left the fucking chat now. I bet she didn't see any of that shit. Ugh. I know, right? I told you my dog was an asshole. Can you guys hear him? I don't even know if you can hear him or not. Oh, Donzel Cat Eyes is my wife. I'm sorry. Um, Cat Eyes pops in and out of the chat at times. That That's my wife. That's my wife. Oh, you can't hear him? Okay, good. Awesome microphone. Awesome microphone. Let me text this asshole to come get the other asshole. I don't know if she saw it. There we go. We're on commercial break, by the way, guys. We are on break. I know, right? These fucking beats are all right, right? Issa said, now that you're not streaming, he's somewhere sleeping. I know, right? It's kind of how it fucking goes. It's kind of how it goes. My dog is such an asshole, man. He is. He is such an asshole. 
if 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 everyone in the family is in the house, he's fine. Oh, we got Swerve and Keith Lee cutting a promo. Oh, oh, oh crap! Let me go back. Whoop, 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 whoop. Sorry about that. We have another super chat. Michael Evans, VA, with a five dollar super chat. Congrats on the success of your channel, JD and Jesse, best tag team in the IWC. SRS and Denise. Who? Jesse, hope to see you on Sunday. Hey man, thank you so much. I appreciate it very, very much, Michael. I will be at the meet and greet on Sunday. I will be there. Unfortunately, I did not, did not get a Forbidden Door ticket because they are sold out and I am not trying to pay ridiculous fucking prices to brokers and scalpers and all of that other shit. So I'll be at the meet and greet and I'm probably going to head back home and watch the show. But thank you so much. Ryan, the chipmunk with a $2 Canadian super chat. Loving every second. Taco crew represent. Ryan, you are here every damn stream. And I appreciate you, man. Thank you all. Thank you all for being supportive. Please know that it is appreciated and noticed. Thank you so much. The professor is out here. The professor, Miss Serena Deeb, and the ROH Women's World Champion, Mercedes Martinez. Good, good. You came and got your asshole dog. Good, good. Thank you so much. Laney, Luck, and Sierra, they're not winning. So. If my up oh, Lord Quas should have been all over it. Let me see. Lord Quas didn't put the alerts up. Oh yes, we got some. Okay. All right, Lord Quas has led the way, guys. We need those booty meat emotes. Cause um yeah, we we got some, we got some booty meat in there, man. So. My dog is such an asshole. So look, so if everyone's in the house, right? If everyone's here, he's fine. He's happy. He's good. No problems. If my oldest, if my daughter leaves the house, that dog loses his goddamn mind. If my oldest leaves this house, he becomes paranoid. He starts pacing up and down the stairs and circling shit and staring at the door. He stares at the door like she's about to walk through it any second. She could be hours away from coming home. He's going to sit and stare at that door. He's going to pace up and down the stairs. He's going to bark like a jerk. My dog's an asshole, man. He is. And fucking friends are calling me in the middle of my stream. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, she's just looking to tap out. Just tap out. Just tap out. You didn't pull Deep off of her bridge. Man, she was able to get to those ropes real quick. Real quick. Let's see. Let me do this. Oh, no, I can't do that. I can do this over here. Or I can just do it in this window. Mercedes Martinez, Serena Deeb is beating the luck out of these women. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I'm I'm extremely convinced 
unfortunately, I think we're gonna get women's tag team titles, man. Do you guys see that shit coming? I'm pretty sure I see it coming, man. What is what was that? You 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 touch my you touch my arm. You 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 touch my What the f She touched She touched my What the fuck was that, man? I'm out here trying to wrestle in this wrestling match and she touched my arm. Look at Deeves now I'm pissed. Like, did you, did you, what'd you do? You, my arm was right there. My arm was right there. That's not good, guys. Come on, man. Come on, man. We gotta do better than that as far as storytelling goes. Guys, next pay per view, we're gonna get Serena D versus Mercedes Martinez. And we're gonna see why Mercedes touched Deeb's arm. Well, what the? Jeez, man. Jeez. Hey, 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 where is my awesome audio? There we go. God forbid you. Open a new tab. The audio wants to pause and wait for you to come back, man. Mine. K Flow with the five dollar super chat. Guys, we're on commercial break once again. Once again. Let me make sure I didn't skip over one. I did not. K Flo, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. Yo, Jesse, it's Flo. Have any big predictions for Forbidden Door? Also, looking forward to seeing you and JD on Sunday at the Ogden. Love the channel, K Flo. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it so much. I have not done a previews and predictions. Um, I normally don't. Um, sometimes I'll tag along with JD if he does his. Like if he does a um. If he does a, a a Twitch, if he does a um, Twitter um, spaces, then I'll probably hop on with him and do the previews and predictions then. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. Depends on the scheduling of the weekend, things like that. Yeah, we did see Brian Cage back. That's right. Looked right at him and didn't even realize, hey, look, Brian Cage is back. That's good. They got him with Tully. Okay. Let's see. I was never really I wasn't I was never against Brian Cage. I thought he get you know, he can use some help. You know, he can use some assistance from, you know, from the machine to get him get him going. But other than that, man, you know, Brian Cage is cool with me. Just need to find something for him to do, that's all. You know, I don't think his wife helped this situation at all by you know, doing what she did on social media. But you know, what can you do? You live and you learn. Is this that non alcoholic beer? Athletic brewing? That's the non alcoholic beer that John Moxley was talking about in his new interview with um with Renee. If you haven't watched that, it's actually a pretty good, pretty good interview. If you're interested, you know, in all things Moxley, like, you know, like me, you know, I would check it out. I read the book too. And I mean, the book is awesome. I, I listened to the audio book. The book is so good. The book is so good, man. Like it's up there with some of, some of the best wrestling books that I've, that I've read. It is so, so good.
Uh, let's see, where don't you do this shit again? There we go. I'm just gonna leave this fucking screen right there. Since YouTube is being an asshole. Oh, we got Jonathan Gresham. And Lee Moriarty. And Lee Moriarty. My God, Gresham is fucking short, man. And there's Tully. Dude, I'm pretty convinced that Marco's stunt is taller than Jonathan Gresham. He's very amazing. Gresham is very good in the ring, man. You know, but I, f I feel like... I feel like he's short on the extreme side of things. Meaning like, no matter how amazing he is in the ring, and he is amazing, it's always gonna be looked at and compared to along with his height. Guys, we got Hook. We got Hook in the chat. Guys. Is it me, man, or is 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 Hook? Is Hook starting to fizzle a wee bit? Not to any fault of his own. Don't get me wrong. I think Hook is still amazing for you know what he can do. But it is it did they. Did, are they not? Are they? Did they not capitalize on him enough when he was super white hot? Right. Yeah. See. I, yeah. I thought. I thought so too, man. He's he's starting to fizzle a little bit. It's. It's not like it's something that can't be corrected, and he's not ice cold. I think you can easily hit that switch and get hooked right back to where he was before by putting him in a in a prominent storyline with 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 important people on the roster get him get him in something juicy he's been away from team taz and hanging out with dan housing i mean what nobody is mentioning this but he hasn't been anywhere near team taz anymore ever is he just not in team taz anymore he don't come out with he used to come out and just stand there and look like Hook behind Ricky Starks and behind his dad and behind Hobbs. Now he don't do shit. He don't come out at all with anybody except, you know, Dan Housen. So I don't know. Uh, let me see. You know, they still giving him uh, pretty much no name guys. No big names yet. He's about to be 10 and 0, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah, smashing them with the hooks. And that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. That's the murder. That's the murder. Hook. There is no hook. Hook is not. And then, you know, any kind of trouble as far as, you know, gimmick wise or career wise, he's fine, but he did fizzle a little bit, which is cool. It's all right. You know, and you know, dude, they got, they got all the time in the world in front of them with hook, man. 
There's no rush. There is. They're not wasting hook. It's not a big deal. I'm just wondering because he, you know, he, those reactions are starting to fizzle just a wee bit. But hook is fine. Hook is fine. We get Cash versus Jeff Cobb. Well, normally, I would say this is not going to end well for Cash, but I don't know. This is AEW, not not New Japan, so I don't know. He said, you put some speck on my name. I love I loved Cobb and Lucha Underground, man. Loved him in Lucha Underground. He was a fucking killer, dude. He was a killer. Let me see. Share this. Copy this. Paste that. Send. Yeah, the, yeah, dude, my, my times was fucking awesome, man. It is time for the main event. Why did that playlist end? No, 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 I already heard that one. I already heard that one. Oh, we got the ass boys. We got the ass boys in the house. They going to Chicago. Come on in. I don't like how I don't like how Max. I don't like how Max Castor now has to put the ass boys at the end of all of his freestyles, man. I'm like, no. That mean every promo is gonna come down to. Blah, 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 something with the ass boys. No. That's not what I want. No. I'm a wrestling fan. I need what I want at all times. Why is Austin Gun so shiny? Bro, I don't even know. Baby oil. I don't even know. Is there 13 matches? Jesus Christ, man. I think I'm kind of happy that I'm going to be coming home to watch this. That's a lot, man. Jack Sabre Jr. versus Claudio. I'm sorry, a mystery person. And we got blood and guts next week. AEW is doing it, man. Yeah, Issa, man. Probably another six-hour pay-per-view. And before, I said, hey, you know what? I don't mind the long pay-per-views because we only get them, you know, every four months or whatever, three months or whatever it is. Yeah, but now it's, now it hasn't been three months since the last five, six-hour pay-per-view. Now it's only been like 10 minutes or so. They just came off of a pay-per-view and they interjected this one then we're gonna have all out that's gonna be another six hours and yeah man then it'll be getting to be a little bit too much at that point we just came off of a damn pay-per-view but i don't know hey that's that's I'm, I'll, I'll do it again i'll give him another benefit of the doubt this is the first Forbidden Door pay-per-view. Very first. There will never be another first. So, knock it out. You want to give me six hours? Just make it six interesting hours.
Just give me six entertaining hours, dude. No filler. No filler, please. Cash Wheeler. Guys, again, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining me on the first ever Rampage Live Watch Along. It's much, much appreciated. Guys, if you ever hanging out and you want to watch a show and find out what's going on with said show and do some pre-gaming, do me a favor. Join my girl Issa's channel, the NYC Demon Diva. Join her and watch pre-gaming. Watch her with live watch-alongs with Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Yeah, man, she's that dedicated. She's that dedicated, man. Can't be me. I go there and I hang out just because I like hanging out with Issa. Just because I like hanging out with Issa and, and her demonites, man. Other than that, SmackDown and Raw and NXT, man, they they not they not doing it for me. But whenever I get off this stream, first thing I'll do is hop on and see if Issa is on. I suggest you guys do the same. And Dynamite. I'm sorry. Oh, don't forget Dynamite. And she does live watch-alongs with Dynamite. You need to join Issa for these live watch-alongs and then join my boy JD for the reviews after the show because we are one big happy podcasting family around here. OTS family for life, guys. Thank you so much. Jeff Cobb versus Cash Wheeler. Trying with the single leg takedown. Jeff Cobb kind of laughed at his ass a little bit. Guys, we are over 100 likes. Man, what a day. It's a day. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Subscribing and liking. Call him the Hawaiian Hulk? Is that a nickname for him? Is that one of his nicknames? It's not it's not terrible. The Hawaiian Hulk. Oh, okay. And we are on to, oh, I'm assuming, is our last commercial break. Last commercial break of the evening. Cobb and Cash. I don't know. I'm starting to, I don't know. Would you guys have picked this match to be the main event of the show? When we had Andrade versus Ray Phoenix? On the show? I mean, right? I don't know, man. I think I would have went with... I think I would have went with Phoenix and Andrade to close the show, man. But that's just me. That's just me. But I get it. I get it. You know, sometimes you have to you have to build the show around the crowd. And I get it. You know, don't forget this crowd that's sitting here right now. You know, when this show started, this crowd had been sitting there already for three hours. They've already been sitting there for three hours because they were there for dark in the beginning. Then they had a two hour dynamite. And now they have a one hour rampage after the show. So you don't want to, you don't want to run into a dead crowd. You don't want to, you don't want to run the crowd dry. And then at the end, when you give them Phoenix 
and Andrade, they're already dead. You know, but same could be told for this story. You know, for Cobb and Wheeler, they're dead. These people are wiped, man. And I'm telling you, man, it look, I've been in that crowd. I've been in that crowd more than once, bro. And I love AEW. I love watching wrestling. I love pro wrestling, man. But sitting in the same spot for four hours straight can be taxing. It can. It can. They start getting hungry. You got to go buy something to eat. You start getting thirsty. You got to go buy something to drink. And all the food and drinks cost about four times the amount that they should cost. (laughs) And you're sitting in the same spot. And I I get it. I get it. It's hard to keep that same energy level up. So I'm sure they they take that in consideration when they adjust the cards and everything else. But man, how is this not... How is this not an opening match and Phoenix and Andrade is the main event. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know. What? Uh, 200 likes. What the? F- I got a hundred, man. So I get to sleep in the house on the couch for a hundred likes. I need 200 to get back in the bed. Babe, I don't even have 200 viewers right now. How am I going to make up? I mean, come, whatever, man. Whatever. I'll just go back. I'll, I'll I'll just go back to sleeping outside or something. Dude. I cannot win for losing. Can't win for losing. Main event is back. Cobb is beating the holy hell out of Cash Wheeler. Who's gonna win this, man? I don't. I don't know. It, it looks like they've been giving us a a, a giving us a blueprint. For the pay-per-view like they'll have you know they'll have like the new japan guy you know lose on the air because they know they're gonna win at the pay-per-view and vice versa and shit like that so we'll see we'll see we'll see hey, what is this track man? i mean i didn't get far down on the playlist because Cool tracks are far and few between. Let me see. Let's go to this one. Go to this one. He shouldn't have Osprey losing. No. No. No, 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 no. I don't think um I'm pretty sure Osprey is not losing shit. I'm pretty sure no one of major importance is losing anything from New Japan. I'm pretty sure Okada is not losing shit. The only one losing for sure, easily, all day long, clean, no discrepancy, is fucking Tanahashi. That guy is good as gone, dude. He is losing. That is that is the most predictable main event I can remember in a long time, man. The match should be good, but that is a very predictable outcome. Uh, TH Craig, you're not going to the pay-per-view forbidden door. Guys, I, I, I get it, man. Sometimes you guys just join in late or didn't catch the whole thing. I, I, I get it, man. You know, but once again, guys. For I don't know how many times now. No, I'm not going to Forbidden Door. I'll be at the meet and greet. Absolutely for sure. But after that, I'm gonna come on back home and watch the show, man. I just don't wanna I don't I don't wanna I don't wanna pay anything ridiculous for a decent seat for a wrestling show, man. I just I I don't I'm just not doing it. I did I did get um one of my awesome viewers to offer me a face value ticket, you know, that I appreciate, but the the seat was in like the 300 section. I mean, I don't know if you've ever been to United Center, but I could probably see this show better from home on my roof than in section 300, man. It is far away. So if I can't get a decent seat, you know, at face value at the very least, then I'm, I I'd rather not go. 
You know, I'm not gonna fucking put extra money in a scalper's pocket, and I, I just don't want to sit in the nosebleeds where I can't see anything. So I'm sure I'll be answering that question again in another 30 seconds or so. But yes, yeah, most unfortunate, man. This is the first AEW show, TV show, pay per view. Anything of such where I was not live in attendance in Chicago. So. Wait, what's she talking about? That, what's she saying about that damn dog? My dog is such an asshole. He is such an a hole. It's cash and cash and Cobb is they they doing it. They working. They working. Is they not look? They not tearing the house down. But this is a very solid match. Very solid match. You know, I'm not not mad at it at all. I just we had a barn burner to open the show. Oh, yeah, he's done. Cash is done. You know, I'm, I mean, I don't know. I'm not. I, I get the booking. I told JD before. It reminds me a lot of what Lauren Michaels does on SNL. You know, he books the front end of the show heavy because he knows that the back end, the ratings are much lower because a lot of people just, you know, fall asleep or do something else. Dude, what the fuck is wrong with Dex? Is he the baby face? What is wrong with Dex? What is this, this damn problem? He just came out and beat this shit out of the guy for no reason. It comes Orange Cassidy running down the... Guys... Orange Cassidy just ran down the ramp. Orange just ran down the ramp. If you're not if you're not watching this dude, you just missed Orange Cassidy run down the ramp. Oh, and Jericho getting his ass kicked on commentary. Eddie Kingston came out beating the shit out of Jericho. We got a big huge smudge. Eddie Kingston is trying to poke Jericho's fucking eye out. He's seriously, he's trying to fucking poke his eye out. He's stabbing him with a pin. Like, oh my God, he's trying to stab him. This is great. He's biting his nose off. Jeez, Eddie's pissed. And again, guys, Orange Cassidy came running down the ramp. You guys understand that at all? Dude, it is complete mayhem out here right now. Trent got a fucking belt out here whipping Hager. We got Will fucking Osprey out here teeing off on Orange Cassidy. We got Eddie Kingston beating the shit out of Jericho through the crowd. Oh my God. It is going down. Guardian, this is why you are a fucking head of security and not a stand up comedian. All right. All right, man. Watch the door. Who let the dogs out? My God. Cash got the belt. Now he's beating the shit out of Osprey's crew. What the hell's going on? Jericho is literally crying into the camera. Can we please get some help? Oh, no, Eddie Kingston is, is still beating the shit out of Jericho on the ramp. Yeah, Eddie ain't letting this shit go. No time soon. Orange is choking the shit out of Will Ospreay. 
What the hell's going on? Oh, oh, Cash just dropped the Hager. Was that Osprey? I can't tell. And Eddie's still beating the shit out of Jericho as he came back to the commentary booth trying to talk more shit. Poor Jericho. <laughs> Fucking Eddie Kingston, dude. It's hilarious. Hilarious. Lots of chaos at the end. Lots of chaos. Big brawl. Big schmaz. That's how the show goes off the air, guys. Guys, I first. AEW Rampage is in the books. Live watch along, sorry. In the books. Man, that was cool, man. That was cool. I think we got to do this every week. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Guys, that's going to be our show. Thank you so much for joining us. I think we're going to do this again. What do you guys think? Fun times. I'm digging it. I'm digging it, man. Big things are happening. We are slowly growing. And it's all because of day one is like you. My taco crew, Issa and her demon knights. JD and his jerk offs. We are all one big happy podcast family. OTS is up in the house. Thank you guys so much. I will see you. Hopefully this Sunday. At the meet and greet. Then. I'll see you guys Monday. Join me on Mondays and Tuesdays for dark watch alongs with this, with this joyful chat. Taco crew, demon nights. Don't forget to join Issa and her pre games and her watch alongs and all of the shows, everything that is wrestling. Issa is covering it. And I'm here to support because that's what we do. We support each other guys. Peace.